Hi everyone, my name is Grace Van Skyver. I'm the 2020 Pennsylvania State Fair Queen, and today I have Harold with me, and he's going to teach me about photography. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a photo chairman for the Oli Valley Community Fair, and uh, we have larger than normal photos on display. Normally there are eight by tens that we have posted on the boards, and we do the same thing at the State Farm Show. Um, they, both are the same criteria for all the categories, everything. And uh, we just have some uh, larger ones on display because for after the show is over, what happens is all the people take their pictures home. So these are some I had in some competition. They're in larger, uh, larger size than, than you'd normally see and it's for great visibility for you to look on the video. And so you're a professional photographer and these look like a kind of an array of different photos, but is this all of one category or what category did these sort of pictures fall under? All these were taken and posted in the Eastern Motorsports Press Association's contest and they fall under the portrait and personality category. Okay, is that the only category that you, is that like the most popular that you see or are there? No, are it's, it's just uh, <laughs> one I decided to pull a couple out on. Okay. Uh, at the fair itself and the farm show, there's 10 different categories in black and white and color. So actually 20 categories that anybody could enter at any time. Uh, and most fairs, every fair has a little bit of a different way they arrange things, sure. the way they display things, different right. sizes. Right. So for somebody trying to enter a picture at their county fair, how would you, I can kind of see these are kind of just captured in the moment. How would you, I don't know, tell somebody or suggest that you would crop a picture or kind of the moment that they should capture to get a good placing? I don't know. All the different categories there are say anywhere from scenic to the portraits, there's a ton of different ways to crop things. Um, you'll see something like this one here. Yeah, Got a young fella, his, his dad's probably out there racing on the track, but he got his little model, he's playing in the grandstands. So you leave extra room on, and you can see you're at a racetrack or some kind of a sports facility. Yeah. And then the other, way you can go is a very tight crop, as these do indicate, where you're, you're really honing in on the person's pers uh, personality. It's just a matter of what you want to do, what you want to try to show. Sure. Uh, you can take a photo, like say this one, I could have had him talking to somebody. Right. It's a situation there where he's more interesting than the back of somebody's head. Right. So you just crop it in tighter. You can change the uh, lightness, darkness on the pictures. That's one of the ca uh, one of the things I run into very often, where they will talk to me about, well, I'm changing it. Do I have to go in the uh, in the category for altered images? And no, you're all you're doing is changing. It's the same as if you have a camera and you change your exposure while you're taking something. It's very simply you're making it a better photo. Sure. And so I see this picture here contains like a lot of emotion, but it's black and white. Would you say that some pictures should be black and white and some pictures should be colored? Or we were dealing with uh, color primarily with digital imaging. They, they can go with black and white. What the judges see a lot is somebody will go and bring in a picture in black and white and in color, the same exact picture. The bad part about that is, down the line as a fellow's judging, I've seen this photo before. Right. It's not a situation where, uh, a situation like you, you know, not a lot of thought put into it. Sure. You're just transferring it over to a black and white. That's not the way to go on something like that. Right, you have to pick from, from the start. Okay. So if I were to enter at my county fair, what do you think the judges would be looking for? And I don't know, what constitutes a good judge when you're it can be hard like all these look amazing to me I don't know <laughs> how my, you differentiate <laughs> my recommendation on judges sure. is find a local newspaper get a photographer a real photographer that deals in all different situations all different kind of categories they uh, we had a photographer in here one year I thought she was going to be very good 
And what happened was every picture that was there, a cat was in the picture. Oh, look at that kitty. And somehow that one won every category. If you have somebody basing everything on their emotion, you can't do it. You have to look into the picture, see what's happening. And I'm, I'm gonna point this one out. Yeah. Uh, this is at a car show. A very hot summer afternoon. They were basically underneath the back of the car in the shade, trying to cool down. It's kind of cute. I seen them laying there side by side. But what the judge noticed was the license plate behind it, which says catcher. That's what made the whole thing. I mean, I could have cropped it down, you know, and had the mag wheel and, the, and that right. to catch attention, but you have to decide. You know, it's, it's okay. a different, different situation for every picture. All right. So if you were to pick a winning picture out of this, I don't know if you have a ribbon <laughs> to place, place on one of these, but what would you call a winning photo? It's kind of hard because these are all... It, it is hard. <laughs> I love the emotion here. Right. I love the kid playing here. Mm -hmm. Love that. Angel down here, she was actually just relaxing before she was ready to make a run on her motorcycle. He's in deep thought about what's going to be happening. General conversation. But I myself, I love emotion. I love black and white. Okay, all right. This one or this one? Sure. Um, and I'm going to get you. Which do you like the best? Okay. Um... I don't know, that one you can kind of tell what's going on, but this one, I think I like this one best because you kind of have to make up a story in your head about what you think is going on in the picture, so I like that one. <laughs> and I agree with that. That gets a blue ribbon. Well, thank you so much right. for telling us about photography. <laughs> and I am going to steer you with one other thing. Sure. To all you folks out there, anybody who can move their arms like this can put a camera in front of their face and push a button, give it a try, Go out to your local fair, see what you can do with it. Thank you. Bye.